Hello friends, welcome to another vlog and welcome to moving vlog day one. It's been a little bit chaotic here today because, well, you probably, I was wearing this in the last vlog or a recent vlog. <laughs> so that was like a couple hours ago. Um, and now we have started packing because why not? So we actually just finished packing. First, the thing that we were doing was going through all of our stuff and like purging what we are no longer using. So like literally all of this is getting donated which actually i mean yeah that's kind of a lot it's a lot of like seasonal Holiday. stuff mm -hmm. we decided to go ahead and start packing the things that we're not using so we have packed up the ps4 um some games and some records and we're packing up our first box <laughs> oh, this is so exciting so our first box of the move i have already broken a nail so that's how you know that moving is happening okay i'm gonna write the first thing Woohoo! Basically our plan of action today, we don't really have like an official plan, we're kind of just going with the flow, but I think what we're gonna do is try to get as much of the living room stuff that like we're not using. Because my mom is actually taking this piece of furniture and then the matching TV stand. So we're trying to empty all that stuff out. And in the process we were like, well we might as well just like pack up most of everything anyway. So we packed up the books on the bookshelf, which are already in a box. And now we're just gonna do like the stuff that we don't use. Like we're trying to go from least used to most used. So we did the storage closet closet, sorted out all of that, everything. So basically throughout the moving process, here is going to be our area of like packed and ready to go. Like as if the moving truck was here, um, this whole area is basically going to be, who remembers when that was in the back of my car? This is going to be um, like the ready to go area. So we've got some stuff from earlier that's ready to go. And now, yeah, we're just like packing up the living room, maybe getting like some decor packed up. Cause like, who cares about that? We've got a lot of stuff to donate, give to friends and family, maybe sell. We have a lot of plants that we need to downsize on. Plus, all of our plants have had like kids and grandkids. So it's definitely time to like part ways with some of them. Wrong for, up for adoption. Yes, our plants are up for adoption. Okay, it's the end of day one and we're exhausted, but we've actually, like we literally had no plans of like packing most, not most of the house, a lot of the house. Like we just kind of were gonna like empty the stuff out for my mom, like from those two pieces of furniture. And then we ended up like packing so much stuff. Not any, we're probably like, a tenth of the way done up a lot. but yeah we've done a lot so this stuff is all packed and ready to go these are donations for literally drew's clothes like he got rid of so many clothes these are my clothing donations um our closet bare desolate that was all jackets and crew neck sweatshirts. And a lot of you have called me out for that in the past and you're like, why do you have so many jackets? You live in Arizona. I don't know, but we're about to move to California. And it's not, it's we're not gonna probably be able to wear jackets that much, but it's like way cooler there. And then I just kind of kept things that I see myself wearing over the next two to three weeks. We still have no idea when we're moving yet. And then we have this bad boy and then this bad boy those are all full of clothes we're starting to clear off like some shelves we're trying to go through our plants decide which ones we want to keep i went through our linen closet and organized all of that and we've actually really made some progress so here we have it it doesn't seem like a lot but we've done like a lot of sorting and organizing and going through stuff today. So that's probably gonna do it for day one for us. We're just gonna like chill. It's only like three, four o'clock and we're just gonna chill on the couch for the rest of the evening. But day one was a success. Good morning, everyone. Oh, don't mind my thrift store donations that I need to drop off, but hi, good morning. It is bright and early. It's eight o'clock-ish and I am uh, finally, I think, God, I honestly, yes, I'm gonna say finally. I am finally going to my final 
orthodontist appointment. The time is now. I am finally going to be Invisalign free. So I'm on my way to do that. And then I think I'm gonna actually get ready. Like I brought some makeup and stuff and I'm gonna go to the mall to film. Um, I have been waiting until the last minute. Like I will actually need to have that video go up tomorrow. But it's just been a really busy month and I haven't had the chance to go out to the mall and film my monthly fitting room video. So that will be today. And then we'll see what else we get up to. A little bit of moving stuff. I think we're just gonna do a little bit every day, but like I'm not gonna make every single one of these vlogs moving vlogs until we leave. I'll just show a little bit of like the progress that we're making with like packing and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be a great day. And first stop, we're going to the orthodontist and hopefully the next time you see me, I will be Invisalign free. Fingers crossed. All right, we did it. I survived five and a half years later. I am done. They also, um, very, very sweetly, but um, humiliatingly for me, said, excuse me, can I have everyone's attention? Carrie just got her braces off. And then everyone in the office, which there were like a good 20 people, just turned and, and stared and started cheering. And then they handed me this. <laughs> which is so cute, but I was just like, uh, I was not expecting that. So we have some Oreos in here. We have some Sour Patch Kids and we have some popcorn. So I think um, that's like for people who get the, like the actual braces off. But yeah, I am uh, all done with my Invisalign. I am so relieved to actually never, ever go inside of an orthodontist and sit in a chair again, at least for the time being. But yeah, I actually had a decent last appointment, but I am very glad it's over. So I'm actually gonna drive to the mall now and do some filming. I really need to get my nails done. I need to get this nail fixed, but I might have to wait until after my appointment because I really wanna go to the mall before it gets busy. So that's the next plan of action. It's a few days later, I actually just filmed uh, the video that you probably saw two vlogs ago where we like announced our move and it's so exciting and it may sound echoey in here because shit's getting real, shit's starting to clear out and one thing, I do really feel like I need to touch on this because I'm sure a lot of you have felt the same way but I have been so overwhelmed this time around, not because of packing or moving or anything like that. Packing is easy, like I got that. I can do that all day, every day. The part that's been stressful is downsizing and realizing how many pointless things we have accumulated Capitalism. over the, <laughs> capitalism baby, how much of a problem I have with over consuming and buying shit that I do not need. Clothes, home decor, furniture. We basically bought furniture to fill up this house because we came from like a one and a half bedroom apartment to this. And we filled it with so much shit over the last two years that now we have to either try to sell, donate, or pay someone to come pick up. And it's just been so stressful, like that part but today that's all gonna be over with. So anyways, we have started the process of like junk removal. We had like just some old stuff that like we weren't able to donate, sun rotted stuff, you know, things like that. Um, and now today we are doing a massive Goodwill run and we're actually, or like whatever thrift store we end up going to. And we're actually going to rent a van <laughs> to transport all of this stuff. Cause we have like a dining set that we're getting rid of. And we thought about selling it on Facebook marketplace, but we just, simply don't have time number one and number two we would really love the opportunity to just like put like i don't know when you donate i feel like you're you're putting good karma out there you know also it's just easier so anyways that's what we're doing but this little area this room right here used to be our kind of workout room slash sometimes it was my office slash it was where moo kept his box slash it was like where we kept a random extra coffee table and tv and it's pretty much empty now so here is what it looks like if you remember we had a treadmill here um, I actually loved it, but it was way too big. There was nowhere to put it in the new place And we actually got rid of it a few months ago in preparation for that. We got rid of a desk that was there We're gonna be packing my computer. It's so dark We're gonna be packing this stuff and then Drew's gonna take this with him in the car because that's moose set up And then we have a couple boxes. We got rid of like a wicker chair a bench Drew's office is pretty much entirely packed up. Moo, what do you have to say? Are you excited? 
clearly. Um, we've got this pretty much all packed up, but he needs to keep that for like work. So that'll be like one of the last things to go, but we have everything like all taped up and boxed up in here. And then my office is exactly the same because I have to film uh, a couple more videos before I leave. So I'm keeping my filming set up. And again, that'll kind of be like one of the last things, but I kind of have started packing up like camera equipment and like my closet is empty now. So apart from like that, I have to try that stuff on for a video. Um, this stuff is going with me. This I'm gonna take in my car, it's like all of my important documents. And then moving into our bedroom, nothing has changed really. Did get rid of this rug that was in here, it was absolutely disgusting, would not recommend a Jew rug. I'm gonna try this in a future vlog. I saw it on TikTok, so we'll get into that later. And we've got a couple of things packed, and I mean, Honestly, I've packed like a ton of clothes. That dresser is empty and actually I just realized we need to take it downstairs. I would have been so upset. This is one of the things we are donating today. So yeah, honestly, we're doing pretty good. This is like entirely empty. So this is gonna go to Savers or wherever we decide to take it. And honestly, I think we're making some pretty good progress since the last time you saw. I think the last part you saw was like, us packing up the living room yeah that's like completely done <laughs> so really all that's left is we have to empty out all these drawers there's just like random like ears and oh, so much stuff so we'll pack up that stuff our clothes and then like the kitchen and our bathroom that's pretty much it we're doing pretty good we just pulled up to the place to get the u-haul and they need a picture of yourself so you can be in the facial recognition system and i don't know why this is <laughs> sending me so much but yeah use photo Perfect. Continue. All right, we made it into the U-Haul. It it smells like someone took a piss in here. It smells like a bowling alley. It smells like piss. It smells terrible, but we are on a, a time crunch, so let's freaking do this. Let's and also, it's going to be more than 30 miles. Is it? Getting out here with like 11. 11. All right, let's do this. We're not even moving. Oh, and I always drive the big vehicles. Some people ask, like, why do you drive the big vehicles? Which, first of all, why does it matter? But second of all, because Drew has driving anxiety, and he likes his tiny little car, and I feel totally comfortable yeah, I think driving all big people vehicles. have driving anxiety in the sense that you don't like when other people are driving. Right, and I, yeah, that's the other thing, is I actually kind of prefer to drive. It makes me feel more in control, but also I learned how to drive on, like, a big vehicle, so I feel way more comfortable. I'm okay, bye! And here is everything we have to move. I don't think it's all gonna fit, but we'll do our best. First load, done. Easy peasy. We loaded that up in eight minutes, so that was very easy, and there's a Goodwill like three miles away, so that's our stop. Hi, welcome to my Sonic haul. If this is sad, I'm gonna be. This is, I'm gonna be sad. Mm. Good. Love it. You please. We stopped at a Sonic because we just dropped off all the stuff. We freaking did it. Props to us. Yeah. Like that was not ideal. That was not the ideal way to spend our Saturday. But now, Ooh, this is. I got some kind of barbecue chicken, popcorn chicken, and Drew got. Bring out a burger. Oh, it could work. Oh, nice. Whatever. You know what? Tomatoes. I'm gonna Here's like mine. It, it looks so good. And of course, you have to get tots when you're at Sonic. It's illegal to not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Do you want to try one of these? Sure. Sonic Hive, rise up. Well, hello there. It's a few days later and I realized I forgot to end this vlog. I've been so busy like staying on top of videos for both channels, but we are now well on our way in the packing process. We did finally get rid of all of the stuff that we weren't going to be taking and I feel good about it. I feel good that like we donated everything and um, yeah, I could have sold it on Facebook Marketplace, but like I'm too busy and Drew's too busy and we literally don't have time to be like coordinating with 20 people and when they're gonna come over. My video like announcing that we're moving went up yesterday and I got a couple comments that were like why would you ever want to downsize like you live in this big beautiful house and like yeah I mean it's a gorgeous house we love it but also we literally just bought all of this stuff to fill this house like this wasn't stuff that we needed or even wanted really it was just kind of like we needed to fill empty space so I don't really feel bad 
about parting ways with it because we bought it kind of in a rush and like half of that stuff we don't even really like anymore so we're just sticking with like our core pieces like our vintage pieces that we really love and like maybe we'll find some more new stuff when we get to the new place but we're so excited i'm just filling up my water bottle now because i am filming today i'm like trying to bulk film as many main channel videos as i can so that i have like a couple ready to go when i get to la and as we know i have my emotional support water bottle here it's a must And I just want to say before I go that I'm sending you the biggest hug and so much love. Like I'm filled with so much gratitude for the nice sweet comments you all left on our moving announcement. Like 99.9% .9 of them were just so sweet and supportive. And to know that like a lot of you are just so thoughtful and like equally as excited as we are to have an LA redo and kind of just, I don't know, like do what you feel like doing in life because you only got one of them. And there were a couple, co there one comment that I I really just wanted to highlight that I thought was really funny was someone said you guys move more often than some people I know change their underwear and I was like you know someone who changed their underwear one time in two years it's kind of weird honestly like that doesn't bother me at all it just was like truly funny like it truly tickled me to my core so thank you so much to everyone who is here and is supportive and is excited to go on this journey with us we're gonna do I think one more vlog like here in this house I'm pretty sure the next vlog you see is gonna be the very last vlog in this house before like the actual moving day vlog so I'm really excited and we'll see you very soon bye